Na, karibu tena katika kipindi cha somo la chemistry na kada kipindi cha awali tuliweza kuona what is matter lakini tukaelezea m mm, kwamba matter inaweza kuwa inaonekana bana au inaweza kuwa haionekani lakini vile vile inaweza kagusika ukaigusa mm. lakini vile vile inaweza kuwa hauwezi kuigusa lakini tukafika tukasema ya kwamba matters zinatofautiana kutokana na composition zao na properties zao tukasema kama properties mfano appearance ya matter nikatoa mfano wa milk mm kwa mfano wa milk na water sema kwamba ukiona maji ukiona 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 water i mean maji kwa maana utajua kwamba haya ni maji kutokana na muonekano wake kwa maana ya appearance lakini ukisema we test uyajaribu kidogo mm maybe you feel ladha ya maji mm kwa utajua kwamba ina ladha gani yamewekwa chumvi haya na chumvi au vivyoote vile ambavyo utafeel utafeel kwamba haya ni maji lakini kuna milk nayo ukiona milk vile vile utakuwa umefahamu kwamba haya ni maziwa kutokana na muonekano wake kutokana na test kutokana na harufu kwa hiyo leo tutasoma categories of matter tukasema kuna substance kuna mixture kuna element na kuna compound Mm. matter can be a substance matter can be a substance so matter can be a substance so what is a substance substance ni nini bani kuna kusema substance ni nini definition wanasema ya kwamba substance mm, substance is a form of matter is a form of matter ambayo ina nini bwana has a definite has a definite kwa hiyo bwana constant constant composition mm constant composition and distinct properties distinct properties maana kile nini maneno haya ya kwamba substance ni kitu ambacho eh kina composition ambayo ni constant lakini vile vile properties zake hazibadiliki badiliki kwa maana zina properties ambazo zimejibagua kutokana na properties za substances zingine na mfano mzuri sana mfano mzuri ni maji bana maji ni substance kwa sababu gani maji yana composition ambayo ni constant baadaye tutakuja kusoma atoms tutakuja kusoma element kuna fahamu ya kwamba composition ya maji ni H2O kuna hydrogen mbili na oxygen moja hii ndio composition ya maji sasa maji haya kama maji haya utayachota Tanzania Yeah. basi maji hayo utakuja na composition hii hii bwana H2O lakini ukienda kwa jirani zetu Kenya maji vile vile utayakuta na composition ya H2O lakini vile vile ukienda Uganda utakutana na maji na ambayo composition yake ni H2O kwamba composition yake is constant haibadiliki badiliki maji ni yale yale maji eh lakini vile vile properties zake ni distinct ni properties ambazo zimejibagua kutokana na properties za vitu vingine mfano maji tunayofahamu kama maji ni colorless colorless eh haina rangi bwana maji ni colorless lakini vile vile tunafahamu kama maji ni tasteless eh tasteless haina ladha lakini tunafahamu ya kwamba maji ni smellless haina harufu eh smell smellless naona bwana smellless maji hayana hayana harufu kwa hivyo hizi ni properties ambazo maji iko nazo lakini vile vile katika properties zingine ya maji ni kwamba maji yana boil at, at 100 degree centigrade 
boiling point ya maji ni 100 100 degrees centigrade hizi ni properties zake kwa maana hizi properties zitatusaidia sisi kufahamu haya ni maji au haya si maji kwamba utakapoona kitu ama kimiminika ambacho sio colorless mfano labda kina rangi fulani utafahamu kwamba haya si maji eh unaanza ku question kwamba haya kweli inaweza kuwa maji anasema haya si maji kwa sababu gani maji asili yake ni kutokuwa na kutokuwa na rangi maana yake ni color colorless yeah kwa hivyo substance is a form of matter eh is a form of matter that has upon the south that has that has a definite or constant composition and distinct distinct properties na mfano wake nikasema ni maji lakini mifano iko mingi bwana kuna kitu kinaitwa ammonia ammonia gas mm? ammonia ammonia mara popote utakapoenda duniani ammonia itakuwa ni nh3 hii ndio composition ya ammonia ina nitrogen moja na ina hydrogen tatu man lakini vile vile table sugar table sugar kijana anatumia sukari mm? na kila siku unaipenda kuweka kwenye kwenye chai yako bwana hii ni substance kwa sababu gani sugar ukienda Kenya utakutana na sugar ambayo ni sawa sawa kabisa na sugar ya Tanzania mm? ni sawa sawa na chumvi salt mm? salt composition yake ni ile ile bwana duniani kote utakapoenda utakutana na chumvi ya aina moja kwa hivyo ina composition ambayo ni constant kwamba vitu ambavyo vimeitengeneza ile salt au ile substance ni vile vile mahala popote utakapoenda duniani sawa na mfano nikakwambia mfano vitu ambavyo vimetengeneza salt labda ni a na b a na b mfano mfano ni a na b kwa maana ukienda Kenya utakutana na salt imetengenezwa na a na b Eh, ukienda Uganda unakutana na sote imetengenezwa na A na B. Eh? Ukienda nchi nyingine yote utakutana na sote imetengenezwa na A na A na B. Sawa? Hapa tunasema composition zote is constant kwa maana vile vitu ambavyo vimetumika kwa ajili ya kutengeneza substance yetu ni vile vile mahali popote utakapokwenda duniani. Sawa? Yeah. The substance differ from one another in composition and can be identified by their appearance smell and taste substance mm -hmm. substance differ from one another differ from one another mm -hmm. from one another in composition in composition mm -hmm. in compo composition and can be identified by the year appearance by the year appearance mm. kwa maana composition ya substance ya tofauti ana mfano tumesema hapa tuna table sugar table sugar huo ni mfano example example labda hapa kuna kuna chumvi salt au tunaita table salt table salt mfano mfano eh natumia mfano table sugar tuseme labda imetengenezwa na a na b a na b sawa table salt imetengenezwa na a na b mbili sawa composition ya salt composition ya salt imetofautiana na composition ya sugar. Kwa sababu gani? Kwenye sugar kuna A moja na kuna B moja. Eh? Kwenye salt kuna A moja na kuna B kuna B mbili. Kwa maana hivi ndio vitu ambavyo vimetumika kwa ajili ya kutengeneza nini? Kutengeneza salt. Kuna A moja na kuna B mbili. Sawa? Sasa kwa sababu hapa kuna A moja na B mbili maana hii itakuwa tofauti na hii bwana table sugar ambayo ina A moja na B ina B moja kwa hivyo composition ya table sugar sio sawa sawa na composition ya salt na ndio maana inafanya substance hii sugar isiwe sawa sawa na substance nini substance 
salt. Na tunasema substance differ from one another in composition. Kwa ma substance zina tofautiana eh, from one another. Kulingana na ule na ule mkusanyiko wa vitu ambavyo vimetumika kwa ajili ya kutengeneza hizo substance. Kwa hivyo ukienda kwenye maji labda water hmm? sio sawa sawa na milk. Kwa sababu gani vitu ambavyo vimetumika kwa ajili ya kutengenezea milk sio sawa sawa na vitu ambavyo vimetumika kutengenezea nini? Kutengenezea water. Mfano, water inaweza kawa labda imetengenezwa na kitu C na kitu D. Eh? Ukaja kwenye milk utakuta imetengenezwa na kitu D na kitu E. Huu ni mfano kijana. Lengo langu ni kuonyesha kwamba tunavyosema composition zinatofautiana ya kwamba kila moja katika hizi substance zimetengenezwa na vitu vya aina yake na ule mkusanyiko umekaa kivyake. Ndio maana hapo unakuta kuna A na B lakini hapa kuna A kuna B mbili. Panapokuwa na tofauti kidogo tu basi hizo substance zinakuwa tofauti. Hmm? Unaona hapa kuna B moja, hapa kuna B mbili. Kutokana na hizi B kuwa mbili imefanya table sort kuwa sio sawa sawa na table sheet. Lakini vile vile kwenye water, kwenye water tunaona tuna C na D na kwenye milk kuna D na E. Kwa maana pamoja na kwamba kwenye water kuna D na kwenye milk kuna D lakini kwa sababu hapa kuna C na D na hapa kuna D na E tunasema composition ya water sio sawa sawa na composition ya milk. Kwa kutokana na hiyo tofauti inafanya hizi kuwa ni substance mbili tofauti. Lakini ili substance iwe moja inabidi composition yake iwe ni hiyo hiyo na ndio maana ikasema ya kwamba kama mfano wa maji yametengenezwa na H2O kwa maana H hydrogen mbili na oxygen moja duniani kote kila mahali utakapokwenda utakutana na maji ambayo composition yake ni H2 H2O. Mm. Lakini vile vile tukasema ya kwamba they can be identified by their appearance. Muonekano wao unaweza kutusaidia kutofautisha bwana kwamba hii ni substance fulani na hii ni substance nyingine. Hii composition ndio inafanya hizi substance inafanya hizi substance kuwa na nini? Kuwa na appearance tofauti. Kumbe composition composition Mm, of substances mm. Mm. composition of substances eh? make them make them to appear different to appear different kwa maana ile composition yeah is this substance yetu these substances yetu ndio inayofanya eh ziwe na muonekano ziwe na muonekano tofauti tofauti hiyo ni substance bwana kwa hiyo is a form of a matter that has is a form of a matter that has a definite or constant composition and distinct distinct properties that is a substance kijana anafahamu substance hivi sasa 